Okay, now let's find the sine and cosine of 30 degrees um, using the special triangle rules and just using trig. So let's start off. We've got uh, a triangle that's 30, 60, 90. And let's start off finding the sine of 30 degrees just with the calculator. So in degree mode, sine of 30 is 0.5. Now we know we want that written with four places after the decimal, so 0 0.5000, okay? And that is equal to it. Now let's do cosine of 30, and that will be 0 0.8660. That zero will stay a zero, so that is approximately 0 0.8660. Now let's use the... Um, 30, 60, 90 rules that we studied earlier. If you have a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, the short leg is the X. The hypotenuse is twice the short leg. And the longer leg is the short leg time root three. We had a song, X, two X, and X root three for the 30, 60, and 90. Okay, so let's let our X be one. To make things really, really simple, we've got X is one. Well, the hypotenuse would be two times the short leg, so that would be two. And then the longer leg would be the short leg time root three, one root three, or just written as root three. Okay? In trig, sum old hag, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. The opposite of this 30 degrees is this one. He's the opposite, and this hypotenuse is right here, so I have one over two, and we know that one over two is 0 0.5, and we just want four places after the decimal. And then for the cosine, the cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Some old hag come around here teaching old algebra. So adjacent over hypotenuse. The adjacent for the 30 is of the square root of three over two. Okay, so let's go to the calculator. And take the square root of 3 and hit equal, then divide by 2. 0. 0.8660. That is approximately 0. 0.8660.